my name is Katie Carson and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. So today I just had an idea and it's one of those days where I have like five different soaps I'm supposed to make but then I had an idea and was like I am dropping everything off of my agenda and making that soap. So I'm going to make a birthday cake soap and the fragrance oil that I'm going to be using is Almond Macaroon. This is from Nature's Garden Candles. It is definitely a heavy vanilla scent. It smells a lot like cake and definitely macaroons and all of those sweet sugary things. So what I thought I would do is I will make a portion of this soap with a vanilla color stabilizer and titanium dioxide and then I will leave the other one uncolored, unstabilized so that you can see the vanilla color discoloration. Because in my vanilla buttercream video lots of people were like just leave it brown, just leave it brown. Well I can't commit to a fully brown soap bar. I just can't do it. So some of it will be white and some of it will be brown and then we'll put some frosting on top with some sprinkles and a little cherry. It is gonna look like cake and I am just so excited. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is add our lye water solution to the oils. For those of you who are new around here I have the soap making recipe that I am using for my base soap today meaning not the frosting not the soap frosting but the actual loaf of soap down in the description box below. This is sodium hydroxide mixed with water that I'm now pouring down the stick blender into organic and sustainably grown palm oil, um, coconut oil, olive oil, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. So lots of good oils in there. And now I'm going to blend it on low. Okay, so I have mixed this up enough to where everything has been emulsified and incorporated. So these three buckets right here, I'm going to just eyeball and fill up accordingly. I really hope that these buckets are big enough to hold all the soap because normally I do four buckets if I'm going to be um, making swirls and stuff but I think we'll be okay. I'm now using my spatula that I got from Walmart to scrape the extra soap into this bucket here. There's a little less in this one here so I'm going to make this one the white and leave the other two uncolored. So this one that is going to be white I'm going to set over here because I don't need to use it quite yet and then these two are going to be the ones that I leave alone and and just put the fragrance oil straight into them. So I actually will be adding the fragrances to one of them at a time because I'm going to be layering them and I'm not entirely sure how this fragrance works. It may set up really fast. It also might make it really liquidy. So adding the fragrance oil to all of them at the same time I don't think is a very good idea. So I'm just going to mix this up real quick. That really really smells amazing and as you can see the color is already starting to go to sort of a butterscotch color. Okay, so I've got my molds, so I'm going to pour this in until both sides look even. It is starting to thicken up, but not incredibly fast, so I will probably wait a little bit until I mix up the white. That way it doesn't sink into this layer. Okay, so upon reflection, this is actually set up quite well, so I am going to go ahead and mix up the next layer. I haven't really ever shot a video like this before. This is very like, ooh, moving everything around and not seamless transitions. And <laughs> yeah, I kind of like it, it's kind of fun. So here is my fragrance oil that was mixed with the vanilla color stabilizer. So we're gonna add that in, grape out that container really well. And then I'm also going to add in the titanium dioxide. I also worked at a slightly higher temperature this time because I was really, really hoping that I could stack up these levels really good in the soap and working at a higher temperature kind of makes things set up faster. So now let's mix this up with the stick blender. Yas, so creamy and beautiful. So I'm going to set the stick blender off to the side. Let's move these soap loaves over which are just getting more and more butterscotchy by the second. And then I'm going to scrape down the sides of this container right here just to make sure that the white good and incorporated to everything. And then I'm going to gently pour this layer on and you can see that bottom layer is pretty firm but you know what I'm just going to go ahead and use this anyway just in case. Okay. So now that that layer is in, because this has titanium dioxide and will probably stick a little better, I'm going to go ahead and kind of shift that around. Normally I wait a little while to do that, but because 
I'm afraid of this setting up. I thought I'd go ahead and do that now. Okay, so before I scrape off the extra, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, just kind of move it around. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna move these off to the side. I've added the rest of the fragrance oil now to this final layer, so let's mix this up with our stick blender. All right, so tap the excess off my stick blender here. Move my soap loaves in, and again, We'll just pour very gently on top of this. You can see the color difference, I'm sure, already. Again, this is going kind of caramelly, butterscotchy, and the other one is very obviously a cream color. Just kind of shook that down just a little bit. Okay, so let's pour this next one. Gosh, this is so therapeutic. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just scraping out the bowl and putting in any remainders. This really is full right up to the top, which is really convenient. And it also means that these bars are going to be as big as they could possibly get. <laughs> okay, so these are all full up. I'm gonna let them sit here while I prepare the soap frosting for on top. I am so excited about doing the soap frosting and I'm not gonna lie, it's mainly because of the sprinkles. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll start doing the top. Okay, so my piping is just barely pipeable. In fact, I would not recommend anyone piping at this consistency, but I started mixing up my soap batter whenever the lye water solution was still a bit too warm, so it's starting to get really hot, which is why I tell people to wait until it's almost at room temperature, if not at room temperature. But I am being a very, very impatient person today. <laughs> so I'm absolutely just not waiting, and I didn't wait, so <laughs> that's what I get. But I am using, like I said, the Royalty Soaps Piping Set. It's available at NurtureSoap.com. And all of the proceeds that I'm making from that are going to my little baby fund. I have so many fun and exciting things coming up. I am such a happy camper because I just got in my gold leaf so that I can do an Ikea hack on my dresser in my bedroom. And I have my little plants in so that I can make my cool hanging jellyfish air plant like mobile for our bathroom. So I am on a little crafty spree. I'm really glad that I have all this motivation to get this stuff done now because I know as soon as baby girl gets here, I'm going to be so much less motivated to do stuff like that. But for right now, I'm doing my darndest to finish it all before she gets here. It seems like everything is a race against the clock before the baby gets here. And again, don't worry, I'm still going to be doing royalty soaps. Um, I am going to try to pre-film videos as I am doing. Right now, all of these videos that you're seeing have been all pre-filmed in like a two to three day time slot. And of course, all of these soaps that I'm making will be available for the July 15th soap release. I am still getting tons of questions from people like, I saw you make the Sherlock soap, uh, and I saw you make, you know, this soap or that soap. But where is it? Why is it not in your Etsy shop? Well, they do have a cure time. So all the soaps that you will be seeing on my YouTube channel between now and July 15th will be available on July 15th, even if it's like the day before, because like I said, all of my videos are pre-filmed, so you're not seeing them the actual day that I'm making the soap. Okay, so just filling in these little gaps here. Oh my goodness, the soap has made my entire office smell so good. Oh, and that's another thing that I'm going to do is film an office tour. I just have to go to Ikea to get my desk. I don't want to film it until my desk is finished. Okay, so now I'm going to put a really big dollop on each one of these bars. Okay, so all of the white piping is on. So now for the part I've been looking forward to, which is putting these little soap gumballs on top that kind of look like cherries. I do have a whole video on how I make these. Yes, they are soap. I will put a link to that up in the upper right hand corner. If you just click that I, 
you can see how I make those. It's actually a really fun little video I filmed with my mom a few years ago. Lots of people seem to like it. So I found it really helpful for placing the little soap balls at the ends here to not put that extra dollop of soap on there. Um, it seems like that extra dollop tends to make it uneven. So those I leave that little extra bit off and it makes it so much easier for me to gauge where I'm supposed to put in each of the embeds. Okay, now for the sprinkles. So the sprinkles I'm using are from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They are just candy sprinkles in carnival colors. They are not for eating. These are for decor only. So I'm just going to sprinkle them on. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. I don't know if it's because I haven't been allowed to eat like extra desserts and stuff. <laughs> that looking at anything that looks like a dessert feels like, I don't know, like just as good or something. But but this is giving me all the happy feels. If you're an adult and you have little kids around, I definitely would make sure that they know they are not allowed to eat this because it totally does look edible. And this is what they look like up close. And oh my gosh, again, they just smell so good. I am so glad that I decided to make these soaps today instead of <laughs> the other things that I had planned because I am so in love with them. Ooh, looks like I need to touch up a few of those. I got some frosting on them. So we will be back in 18 to 24 hours to cut these up and I could not be more excited about it. And I am back, not 24, but 48 hours later because I wanted to let the soap kind of turn a different color so you can see the difference. I also cut some of them a little bit earlier so that I could start letting the vanilla start to darken so that you could see it even better. So I'm going to go ahead and press down on my soap cutter Evangeline that's available at nurturesoap.com and a poop ton of sprinkles just fell off. <laughs> so let me pull off one in the middle here. So this is what it looks like before the discoloration has happened and then you can see on the sides here that's what it looks like after the discoloration. So it still looks creamy and white on the middle and then the vanillin starts taking over on the sides. This bar has been sitting out for quite a bit longer so you can see again it's already starting to go a very very dark brown and it will probably go even darker than this. So it still looks like cake. It also smells like vanilla even though this looks like chocolate and all in all I'm quite pleased with it I must say. So hooray for July and hooray for birthday month and birthday themed soaps. You guys can start getting excited about my six days of cupcakes that I have decided to do. I will be doing six days of cupcakes till July 26th because that is my birthday. So starting on July 20th I will be uploading a cupcake soap making video every single day. That's almost a complete week of uploads and I really hope you guys are going to enjoy that. I'm going to put a lot of work and effort into it and then all of those cupcakes will be available sometime in August. I haven't picked a date yet but this soap right here and all of the ones that are made between now and July 15th will be available on July 15th. So I will probably upload ones on Wednesday too because I have a lot of soaps that I've made and there just aren't enough Saturdays in a month to get them all up on YouTube so um, I, there will probably be some Wednesday uploads so July is going to be an extremely upload heavy month so you can be checking back quite often. You can also click the little bell down in the description box or near the description box. That's the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload if you don't want to keep checking back. So the question for today is would you rather have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? I, I have absolutely no idea what I would choose for this because I love talking so so much but but I think it would be quite a tragedy if I had to say everything on my mind. So I would probably go with never having to speak again. So if you want to vote, um, you can click on the I in the upper right hand corner and cast your vote there. I've had a couple people say that they can't see that. Um, make sure that your uh, annotations are turned on and also that you have the latest version of YouTube installed on your phone because sometimes the older versions don't have that feature. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, maybe even leave me a comment down below, and I will see you very soon. Maybe as soon as Wednesday. So until next time, you have a royal day, and bye for now!